Hey lovelies, today I wanted to do a video on healthy justified anger. So if you're new around here, I'm Kirsty D. I have a wellness blog, I do like wellness coaching, teaching you to live like a really fulfilled life. But today I decided to do this video on like healthy justified anger, like it's just something that like I've literally just done the school run and I was like I so need to do this video because we are told so often that like anger's bad and don't feel your emotions and just all this crap and sometimes like being angry is really healthy and it's really justified and staying angry is obviously not healthy it keeps you in this like toxic place and it doesn't feel good but sometimes like being angry is actually a really like self-loving self-respecting thing so Basically, the reason I decided to, to that I needed to do this video is because today I'm really, really angry and I was yesterday and I spent all last night like thinking about it and this morning it's still like on my mind and I'm still angry and it's for me, sometimes like the best thing to do is to just get it out, to like get it out and to not let it fester and quite often we let things fester because we're told like you know these emotions aren't good for us but basically what happened yesterday I went for a run like close to where I live so I kind of live in a village in the middle of nowhere and I went for this run and I could see this guy like coming towards me and this is going to sound crazy but I always kind of listen to my intuition I was like I, I've not got a good feeling about this dude like just the way he was like coming towards me, which may sound really crazy, but where I was, like close to where I live was like an A road, so I couldn't like cross the road, it like wasn't safe and there's like old barriers on the other side and then like the other side of me there's like, you know, kind of goes up a hill and there's trees, so I couldn't go that way. If I went backwards and like, then obviously he could chase me, but plus then I was like further away from home, there's no houses or anything, so I had to just keep going. And also I didn't know if I was just being paranoid and he was fine. So obviously I'm going like towards him, he's like coming head on, and I'm like just just keep running, just you know. Anyway, he sort of like tries to get in front of me and stops me and keep going, he's like, oh I need to talk to you, I need to talk to you, and I was just like, no no, I'm really sorry, I'm busy, because I was like, I didn't know, you know, who he was, I'm obviously like on my own, like nobody's like you know around obviously there's cars like going past but they're going fast and you can't guarantee somebody's gonna like stop or anything um because it wouldn't probably look anything to stop by so anyway I was just like no no I'm busy I'm just gonna I was like I, I can't stop sorry um so I just keep like sort of running and I was like I swear he's turned around and he's now following me. So obviously he was like coming this way, I'm going this way. So if he was genuinely going that way, he should have kept going that way because the direction he was walking in, like it, it, there was nothing, like he hadn't stopped anywhere, there's no shop, there's nothing there for him to then turn around. It wasn't like he'd gone to a nice field, gone for a walk. So I kept running and I was like, oh my gosh, I swear he's like turned around and he's now following me. And I remember reading like on a post, if you think somebody's following you, turn around, you know, look them, you know, square on because they're more likely to leave you alone knowing that you could identify them. And obviously he might have not meant any harm or anything, but I just thought I need to see if he's following me. And also I remembered like that. Anyway, he's now following me. He's turned around. He's following me. So I start going faster, so he starts going faster. So I get my phone out, because that's something else I heard, to like get your phone out, because if you, they think you're like gonna ring somebody. Anyway, so then he starts like going faster, catching up on me. Luckily by this point, like I'm nearly home, and he's like, I just need to talk to you, I just need to talk to you. And I was like, no, like, oh. Um, and he's like, are you single, are you married? And Anyway, I just like kept going on and then obviously when I got to like my village, his house was like, I think, I assume he stopped following me because there's people around. But anyway, I'd been thinking to myself, oh, you're probably just like, you know, being paranoid. It was probably innocent, like he probably just won't talk to you. But then the more I thought about it, I just thought, no, like if you say no, if you say you're busy, 
then no means no. Like nobody has the right to stop you. Nobody has the right to demand your time. Like no means no. And if you say no, like we quite often can feel guilty, but like nobody has the right to, to make you feel guilty. Like your no is completely valid. And you don't like, and I was actually really nice. I was like, no, sorry. Like I'm busy, I've got to keep going. But like, you don't even have to be nice about it. If somebody's like, makes you feel like intimidated then you have every right to be angry because we're so often so polite because you know we think that that's like the right thing to do and I always try and be polite but if you're saying no like it should be heard and it should be respected and I'm not gonna stay angry like I'm gonna do my thing and I'm gonna like meditate and I'm gonna do my mindfulness and all of the stuff because me being angry is not affecting him at all and it doesn't feel good for me but I just want to do this quick video to say that if somebody makes you feel that way if somebody's like quite intimidating and won't take no and like starts following you or gets in front of you like it's totally like even if you, it could be completely innocent you being angry is totally healthy and it's totally justified because nobody has a right to to make you feel like that like if you say no no means no um and this doesn't have to be like if you're out and about and somebody's hounding you this could be in any walk of life like i've obviously um not that i think they can do anything but you know i've like um contacted like the local police station and just like sent them an email and they said that they'll be in touch with them but um and there's probably nothing they can do because he didn't actually touch me or anything um but I wanted to make this video to just say that no means no and if you say no and you don't want to do something don't do it and no that's actually really loving it's it's really healthy we so often get told like you know anger's not healthy and to not feel our emotions and I call BS on that because that is how we end up in situations we don't want to be in and it's how we end up bitter and like your no deserves to be respected and um, yeah I just wanted to I thought before I kind of overthink it because I'd started thinking oh you know maybe I'm just being crazy maybe I was just being paranoid and then I was just like heck no like nobody has a right to make you feel like that Kirsty. and any woman nobody has a right to to do that especially in that circumstance like you know if, if you're on your own nobody has a right to come over to you and start approaching you and if they can see your friend and stuff they friggin leave you alone and if they don't they're in the wrong and there's just no two ways about that um so yeah that's basically what i wanted to say that if you feel angry about something then that's totally okay um don't stay angry though because it doesn't affect them and it greatly affects you but anyway, I'm gonna like get back to feeling good, but I just needed to like get that off my chest and to, whew, cause I've been so like angry about the whole thing. And um, on Thursday, we've got thriving towards your bliss. So I'm gonna like get back to my bliss. Um, but it was it was important to, to feel it. And it was actually really self-loving because I think about how I would have been years ago and I would have felt, ended up feeling guilty and I would have given this person my time even if I was like oh I haven't got a good feeling about this and it might have been completely innocent this guy but it's not worth it because that could have gone another way this guy didn't come up to me and was like you know really like oh I'm really lost can you help me excuse me this guy was like really persistent really aggressive really authoritative like getting in my face kind of like person <laughs> and it's just like no no <laughs> um so yeah just oh i feel like i'm just saying the same thing over and over again but i just feel so passionate about this like your no means no and this is not just in this kind of scenario like in all scenarios if you say no 
it deserves to be respected and if somebody doesn't respect it that's not your problem that's their problem like you don't have to keep other people happy you know it, that is not your job you know this guy for all i know could have been you know really lonely or whatever but that's that's not my problem he's a stranger to me i don't know him like it's ridiculous and it's ridiculous that i can't even go for a run close to me without you know worrying about something like that like now i'm not going to go for a run where i live because i'm like it's just too secluded it's not safe and that makes me angry that i have to feel like that anyway tony's been wonderful he's like if you want to go for a run i'll go with you or i'll just like run somewhere really publicly but um yeah it just annoys me that so close to home where i live i can't go running um yeah so i have every right to be angry about that and I started thinking, am I making a big deal of this? And no, no, I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna hold on to this. Like, I know I'm gonna look back and like not even care about this, but today I care. Like, and that's actually really loving. Um, so if you're angry today, know that some anger is totally justified and healthy. And um, what you say should be respected like it it won't always be um and that's okay like because you fill your own cup up but um yeah know that yeah how you feel is valid um but anyway driving towards bliss is happening on thursday i'm ready to get back to feeling good um so i'll see you on thursday in the choose to rise facebook group it's not happening over on youtube and um have a wonderful week Namaste.